I'm Johnny Millennium, this is Victor Lucas, and this is Film Fury. And today we're going to review the Seth MacFarlane super special, Orville. But just before we do that, we want to thank our friends at the VFS School of Film. All right, we're going to talk about the Orville. This is a Seth MacFarlane creation. He has uh, stepped in front of the camera, though. He's acting in this one. Adrian Palicki, who we have seen in Friday Night Lights and also in uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on the Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show. And Scott Grimes kind of plays the comic relief in this sucker. It is definitely an homage slash parody of Star Trek. Absolutely yeah. it is. And we're not going to give a score because we're only talking we, about the We very, saw one episode. Yeah, we saw one episode. But yep. we wanted to come in and just talk about that one episode. This, everybody was bashing this online. Yeah. I watched it. And you know what? I liked it. No. I did not hate it at all. I think that Seth MacFarlane is a huge fan of the next generation oh, he is. Star Trek yes. in general. But he always overindulged himself here. What? He's written himself into Star Trek. He's made his own Star Trek show and he's the captain. He's the, he made the fan film. This yes, is, he, right? and it's a fan film and yeah, it's not yeah. funny at all. Well, there's some funny bits in it because it's Seth MacFarlane and he's going to try to you know do some kind of uh, family guy style kind of pop culture riffing kind of humor a little bit of that but also a little scatological humor because he's not afraid to go there either yeah. uh, you know and the, the cast is actually game to kind of play at these different levels and stuff and uh, I actually didn't mind that what surprised me though and actually Seth MacFarlane kind of impresses me because this is a guy that could just sit back and watch the residuals roll in forever off of the stuff that he's already created. But he just keeps on crazy. He, he loves tries. this stuff. He's he a tries fan. Yeah. yeah, and I know that he, you know, he kickstarted the Cosmos reboot. He, he loves science and he loves Star Trek and I applaud that, you know? Yeah, like, absolutely. Put your heart and your passion. I love it that he's a fan. You can see he's a major fan. Yeah, and your commitments to but it. But did you like this? I, I, I liked elements of it, but I don't know if I'm intrigued enough to want to keep committed to it and I'll tell you one of my big wow. sort of complaints with it it looks so cheap you know? I kind of like the 90s look of it. I really do. I guess that was on purpose, I, right? Maybe it was yeah, on purpose. Yeah. I felt like I was back in the 90s, maybe, yeah. and it gave me that comfort zone. Let me tell you. Maybe it went over my head, and that, that you know, maybe the joke's on me. That's what the effect and the look that they wanted. But I'm like, come on. We're living in a, a post-expanse. Yeah, of course. You ever see the expanse on sci-fi? That no. show is killer, and more people should be watching no, that. No, no. I just thought he was going for a certain look of the 90s. I sat, I sat down on the couch, and I watched this, yeah. and it kind of washed over me, and I got this nice 90s feeling, it does have a and 90s I enjoyed feel, yeah. it. But yeah. I tell you, the hairstyles and everything, their clothing, yeah. everything. You're but right. But it was yeah. so shallow. Yeah. There was nothing going on. But that is, in my mind, the promise of future episodes really fleshing out all right. of these characters, getting to know everybody. Yeah. But the first one, I guess you can only introduce everybody and do yeah. that. But they, the story wasn't that great. It no, was okay. But they get into like, some conflict. And, it's kind of lame. Yeah, it's some okay. laser fire is happening and. You know, people get to have their hero shots with the camera pointed up yeah. and they're blasting yeah. the bad guy. I know, so yeah. fall, he had all of his cool shots blasting everybody, <laughs> looking like the cool guy. And I'm like, there's nothing humorous yeah. about yeah. this. And I was kind of waiting for him to do some weird shot and do some I, more I think Scott Grimes is slapstick. actually pretty enjoyable in this He's group. enjoyable, very much so. He looks so beat up and so weathered. He's, an, he's a character actor we've seen. I grow up, I think, on in various things. I, I can't recall what I've seen him in, yeah. but I've seen him in, in a million things, you know? But he's getting older. He's playing older. the straight guy. He, he's well, just disgruntled with everything. Yeah, well, he's he's uh, like an addict that's given another chance to kind of, uh, you know, drive the ship, basically. And Seth MacFarlane is the captain of the Orville, which is the name of the show, is the name of the ship. And uh, his ex-wife becomes the XO on of the ship. Of course she does. And it's, uh, you know, an inter interesting kind of level of friction because she cheated on him with an alien that we see. And we will never like her character because of that. We won't, but we also will never forget the moment that he caught them in bed together. On the blue with, explosion. Right? That and was I, actually that kind was, of funny. That was funny. Yeah. And I thought at the beginning, I'm like, oh, we're going to have some more slapstick and a little bit more yeah. of that. And then all of a sudden, it's just so generic and bland, the humor, but I loved it. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I shouldn't have enjoyed this as much as I did. Yeah. I sat there and I had a big smile on my face. There, it is a bit familiar, and so there's a warmth that comes off of it. Well, that's what it is. We yeah. haven't had a Star yeah. Trek show for so many years. Well, we're about to have one. Well, we're about to have yeah. one, but I'm saying he's giving me the 90s show that I really remembered okay. and really have a lot of affection to, okay. and I'm looking to the promise that he's going to so deliver on this. So you're going to stick with it? Oh, absolutely. I can't wait. If you start raving about it, I will We'll go back to it. I'm yes. a bit meh on it. I don't think it's a failure. I don't. I wasn't disgusted or super disappointed. I just wasn't 
blown away. And I think maybe... The first episode should blow you away. Uh, yeah, yeah, especially in this crowded TV market. Oh, There's definitely. So many, so many great shows to stay up on, you know? And th this isn't great. It's, no. It's not great. It, it, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay with yeah. the promise that it's going to get better in the future with some better writing, some more you know, more stuff to do with these characters. I want to find out about that robot character. Yeah. There's so much it, fun going on it here. It sure sounds like Brent Spiner, but I don't know if it is. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. I, I I don't think he'd I think come back and purpose. do that. I think that's on I think that's on purpose. And I do know that there are lots of Star Trek cameos lined up for future oh, episodes of The Orville. Don't tell me nothing. I and, can't and, wait. And also uh, behind the camera as well. Yeah. And what's interesting about this first show I noticed I don't know if you did but John Favreau directed this thing the, John Favreau? the director of Iron Man and you know really? and tons of other big movies the, the uh, Jungle Book and he's got uh, the Lion King coming up wow. this is the, like he's and he was in Swingers he was an actor as well but that's interesting I, because I shouldn't tell you all this no it's okay because yeah. the reality is it just seemed like a generic Star Trek the next generation yeah. episode no, John I, Favreau I, directed it well maybe that's why I, I enjoyed the cinematography I like the look of it I know you didn't like the look well, I thought it was, it was okay it was mostly the visual effects like the the you know Cheese ball compositing, the the super was good. taped on like this is the sh the tiny sort of uh, shuttle craft that they're in, oh. and it's taped into the shot, and it just photoshopped. I thought it, it was looks, okay. It looks cheese like honestly, watch Battlestar Galactica or no, the Expanse. No, I understand, but they're you know? not trying to do a, like a serious science fiction. They're trying to do a parody, right? And I'm waiting for it to become Galaxy Quest, and that's what I want to mention. See, and that's I way love, better too. And yes, yes, and I'm waiting for this to beat Galaxy Quest, right? And it hasn't so far. Galaxy Ooh, Quest it's got a is, long way. That's to go. got a long way to go. But yeah. if you're gonna do this, you have to be mindful of Galaxy Quest. Yep. Let's see what they did there. Can they beat it? I don't All know. All right. Well, you're sticking with it. I'm a, a wait and see. So uh, check in with us later and uh, we'll tell you more about the Orville. But for now, if you are interested in creating your own TV series and out Seth MacFarlane, <laughs> Seth MacFarlane, you might be interested in the VFS School of Film and their one-year program. Go to vfs.edu for more info.